Barbara Streisand, Britney Spears, Frank Sinatra, Justin Bieber. In the music world, there are voices, and then there are voices. Many of today's biggest stars might not sound quite as good without rock. Not rock and roll, but actual rock, like in the ground rock. Here's Allie Ward to explain. Okay, we've all entertained that dream. You know, taking the stage, finding our inner pop star. Although the only tempo I ever had was a car, I wanted to live that musical dream, if only for a day. So, I booked a recording studio in Santa Cruz, California, where I could channel my inner rock star. So I'm heading into the studio to sing, and I'm really nervous. I've never done this before, but I'm gonna go old school. Well, I'm gonna go preschool. But I'm not going alone. This is Dr. Andy Hildebrand, a former Exxon oil engineer and inventor of Autotune, the vocal processing software. It's like Photoshop for singers' voices, and I'm gonna channel my worst voice to put it to the test. So, uh, this next song I'm gonna do for you guys is about the universe. I think you're gonna like it. Yeah, all right, you ready? Okay, ready. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay, maybe I need some help. Autotune works by listening to your voice and instantly computing if you're sharp or flat and gradually corrects the pitch of your voice. When do I get my tour bus is my question. <laughs> Dr. Hildebrand became a professional musician at just 16 years old, but his autotune invention is a product of a very different school of rock, not a musical one, a geologic one. After I got my PhD in electrical engineering at University of Illinois, I was recruited by Exxon, and I did signal processing work there for seismology. Seismology, the scientific study of earthquakes and the internal structure of the Earth. In Dr. Hildebrand's case, researching ways to improve how sound waves could provide information on where oil may be found. Fast forward, and Dr. Hildebrand returned to music, applying techniques from his past geophysical research. And in 1997, Autotune was born. See how they run. Good thing, too, because I know I need it. They all ran after the farmer's wife who cut off their tails with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind mice? You can correct my pitch, but now you can still hear the fear in my voice. <laughs> Autotune was originally designed to gradually and imperceptibly correct pitch. But if you push Autotune to an extreme setting of zero, you'll create that robotic effect. That sound was made popular by Cher in the song Believe. And by many performers to follow. Like any kind of game changer, Autotune is not without controversy. Some even say it's cheating. How does it feel to know that your work is out there and, and changing art and changing you know, people's experience in it? It's interesting because some people hate it and some people love it. It's like a conversation in our culture. So do you want to hear that again before? Yeah. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. And the four corrections we put in, it sounds like this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> you can actually hear a difference. I think it's, uh, it's less harmful to listen to. <laughs> that first twinkle is really bad. And now, I too put the false in falsetto. Twinkle, twinkle.